waterproofing is literally smoking on top of the uh, stove which is probably not good in my opinion <laughs> so I have the window open the door open another window open and I'm about to pull that damn thing off of there because I don't remember it smoking on the video when applying heat so it's cooking that crap off but man that should be done outdoors this is nasty this stuff stinks son she stinks all right so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this little metal pan and I'm gonna hopefully pull that bitch off of there so you guys can watch that and that's got to stop um, didn't know it would do that so I'm gonna get some gloves on because this is gonna be El nasty that is for sure and I got my uh, wood stove here fired up full throttle so it's probably oh Jesus it's probably um, you know I don't know what it's gonna be. She's smoking though. And that's gotta stop. Ooh. Oh Jesus. It's uh, gooey a little bit. Guys see this thing? Woo! Looks like burnt pizza. And it looks like it made a hell of a mess on top of the um, wood stove. So I gotta clean that up. So I'm gonna put this near the door, let it cool down, and then I'm gonna clean up that god awful mess up there. And uh, actually, let's take this drill bit just to see. I think it turned into the actual material now, but man, that stuff stinks when you first get it to the burn off level. So I apparently when you get this to the 10,000 degree mark, well, it's not going to be 10,000 degree, but once you get it, once you get all this flour and it goes rock hard like this, that's when it becomes uh, the fireproof material. But I don't want to be smelling it. So that doesn't help whatsoever. So let's put this over by the door. We'll experiment with this thing later. But it's got, it's just nasty right now, guys. So we're not going there. How about that? Whew. Oh, God awful smell in here. I don't want to die from whatever the hell that thing's putting on. the top of my stove whatever the hell that shit is hmm not fun so I'm gonna get these little chunks off of the top of this thing down you go and I'm gonna have to scrape that with something um, probably a piece of wood, I would assume, that it would stick to that. Little piece of lumber from my buddy Pierre, Patreon member, all around great guy. We'll see if we can uh, fix this crap. I'm guessing this could possibly be some of the glue that burned off or melted out of the situation. So, not a good thing to have on my stove. It's coming off fairly good with this though. Just got to scrape it a bit. I'm just going to plop it down. Whoopsie. Oh shit. 
Don't want to break my fan, do I? That worked fairly well. Clean that off. Whatever's left, it'll just probably just burn off, evaporate it. Whatever. Stay put, fan. Whew, that is gross. Yeah, I, I'm not quite sure, guys. That's nasty stuff. Really nasty. Let me uh, go grab that pan over there and uh, show you what's going on. nasty. Let's take that drill bit. It almost turned into charcoal or something. So this is probably the heat level I was supposed to cook this thing off, but I highly recommend doing that outdoors because that's horrendous. I can still feel the heat through the bottom of the pan though, guys. I'm not if I left my hand there, I'd burn myself. So, maybe I need a bigger thickness of this stuff for it to work and to properly cook off both sides. But I sure as hell ain't doing that again to do that outside. So, this for now, I'm going to sit there, let that dry off, see how my stove's going here. Oh, she's scorching hot. Take a look at this, folks. Oh, yeah. Now, just a lesson, guys. Quick lesson on wood stoves. If you have a lot of issues with creosote in your flue, then you're not burning your stove at full blast. You should do that at least to for the first couple hours even cook it with the door open it's going to over fire the fire give it all the air it wants but in return it's going to cook everything out of your pipes aka creosote buildup and you won't have that issue you guys have seen my videos if you've been following my channel for a long time i have hardly anything when i go to look and clean in my flues very little so it's very good practice to burn it wide open. See, I got this damper open, got this damper open, and I got the front door open. So it's getting 100% air. Do it for a couple hours, then damp your stove down. That way, every time you do it, it clears out your flue. Right? Simple. Real simple. Very simple. No special tricks. Burn it hot when you first you know make your fire whoops i guess he doesn't want to go in there for now but um just do that burn it it burns all your pipes out nice and hot nice and clean out there outdoors there then damp your stove down and that way you can conserve some wood then but you know I guess a lot of people don't know that because I see a lot of people on YouTube have massive creosote buildup and it's because you're not running your stove hot 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 at the very first couple hours run it full bore that basically warms up all your flue pipes cooks them cooks any creosote out in there at the same time gets rid of it then damp your stove down and then you'll slowly conserve wood but you also start building up creosote again in the chimney. Now, when you're, when you're done for your day of cooking or heating, um, just rinse and repeat. Like I said, start up a nice fire and go to town.